they are playing it in many places. But there are thunder and showers. They have been over Northern Ireland through the day, and they're heading our way. So you could see some outbreaks of rain with some thunder and some hail. Right, we'll just turn weather off for a minute. Um, my uh, next video was supposed to be big knives. Um, I'm having a few computer problems, so uh, <coughs> uploading videos is um, going to be extremely hard until I get uh, the one with all my software on fixed up again. But anyway, uh, it was supposed to be the big knives. However, package came in the post today. The sender, J Fox. I'm not going to read the address out. With Jason at Foxwood Knives. If you remember, he ran a competition, and I won. I won a knife, and he said, "Pick which type." of etching you want on this uh, knife because if you don't know Jason of uh, Foxwood Knives you really ought to sub and um, have a look at his channel he does make his own knives custom knives but he also customises some knives he gets in and that's what this competition was about so, when I won this competition, I said to Jason, can I have the one with the paw prints on? Because they remind me of a bird's footprints. And he said yes. But then he also said, I'm going to do a surprise for you. And so, I've been waiting in anticipation to see what the surprise is. Well, here's the knife, and it's got a nice little paracord lanyard on the, the base with a, a little ring around the centre, and it's got two little fox faces on it. Let's see if I can just get them into. Can you see it? Uh, like a fox faces, which is a really nice touch. The blade, um, which is one that um, perhaps Jason explains a whole lot better in his programs than I could because I'm not super knowledgeable about uh, metal types and shapes of blades, but I do know what I like, and this is one of them. And it's a quick flick blade. Uh, I did that wrong because I'm not as expert as everybody else, but here we go. Almost. Shall I try again? Ah, that's the secret. Now, hey. wow. Wow. First of all, There's the paw prints that Jason's etched onto the blade for me. And I've got to say, the detail of Jason's etching is the best I've seen so far. But just look at what I've just seen on the other side. And this was the surprise for me. You can see it, or is it too much reflection? Here we go. Moonbear with the burr paw prints because that's how I see them as burr paw prints. Look at the etching of that, that is absolutely superb. Jason, I'm over the moon. That is so well detailed. Oops, going the wrong way. I'm just hoping that the light coming from the uh, video camera isn't just a little bit too dazzling. Try putting my finger over the light a minute just to give you a 
Luke without it shining on it too hard. How's that? Eh? Wow, what a superb blade. These are nice blades, nice and strong. No rattle. It looks like it might be, uh, I don't know, type of G10. I really do like the. Uh, See that there? I don't know if you call it a little nut or a screw or whatever, but uh, it's absolutely superb. Now, I do find with a lot of knives that this, the pocket clip, which I don't use a lot of knives because obviously in the UK we can't openly carry this sort of thing. And a lot of knives, this thing sticks out a long way and gets in the way. But on this, in my hand, it's really comfortable and it's a nice fit because I do have a fairly large hand. The blade is wow. I'm not very good at all this paper cutting stuff, so I'm not even going to attempt to emulate the people who do it. But um, that is absolutely superb. What do you think of that? Wow. What can I say, Jason? I'm gobsmacked. I'm absolutely over the moon. This is a superb knife. It's got a lovely look and feel to it, and it's got that personal touch that's special to me. It's got my username, Moonbird, which I've had for many years, not just from being online, but from my martial arts days and uh, pride of place in my collection now. That's superb that mater, superb and I can't get over these little uh, golden fox faces at the end. I mean it's just those little extra touches that make something really special. I'm probably not doing this as well as uh, some of the folks do, but um, I just can't say, I can't put into words enough just how great I think this is and just how special I think this is and how well Jason's done. And I will say again, if you're not sub to uh, Jason at Foxwood Knives, get over there and have a look. Like I say, he does his own custom from scratch blades, but he also does some customising of uh, ready-mades and changes them and alters them to his spec. And the best etching that I have ever seen. Now, perhaps I've just not seen everybody's etching, but I've seen a lot so far, and I've not seen it any as good as this so far with the detail. I mean, the detail is just so superb. It's absolutely fantastic. It's artistic. It is. It's an artistic piece. And what can I say? Well, many thanks, Jason. I'm glad to have won this in your competition and I'm very glad to know you because Jason's also online been very helpful because I've been asking a few questions about uh, things I was having problem with because I was trying a, a bit of electro etching myself and boy did I bollocks it up. I burnt out two transformers, three transformers. I was doing something wrong and I didn't know what. And after a little chat with Jason, it let me into one of his secrets. <laughs> well, actually, he's got a video online about it and he'll let everybody in. And that's another touch that I like about uh, people like Jason. Uh, Dell at Dirty Room Knives. Um, Marshall, but uh, Constructor, all these that are in a, I won't say that they're in a, a tight group, but there is a tight group there that um, they'll show you the secrets, they'll show you from scratch how to uh, make knives, um, how to make the um, special handles and the little lanyards and stuff. And if you have a look on um, my subs list, You'll see some really special people on there because um, 
I don't take on people that uh, that aren't interested. I don't take on people who who not necessarily not necessarily don't make their own videos, but they're at least liking and showing videos of um, the really good like uh, knife makers and preppers and you know and, um, survival experts and all that, rather than a couple of channels that I got rid of that were only doing videos that were shout outs for competitions. To me it's just not on that. Um, and if that's, you know, don't sub me if that's just your intention um, to come along and do VRs to everybody just so you can be a winner in a competition somewhere. Um, I consider myself very lucky to, to be in this. And um, Jason and uh, Dell at Dirty Room Knives and uh, Sorry, but the, the brain isn't that good these days. But somebody else said to me, Dell, I expect you to do a show out. I expect you to do a VR. And so, I've done it. I don't jump in there just for the chance to win something because, to be honest, I'm not really that lucky normally. So, here I am with... And I'll get the hang of this before long. <laughs> uh, beautiful knife. And believe me, if I can win a competition, anybody can. But I don't sub to these people for competitions. I sub to these people because they have a entertaining videos, because they have a skill that I admire, because they're willing to share that skill. They're willing to put videos out there telling you how to do it. So they're not scared of competition. They like other people to know what's going on. And, I re you know, I really admire that. So please... Have a look on my subs list and sub a few of those people. I'm sorry if I haven't mentioned anybody's name. I'll try and do that at a future point. But um, I just think everybody who's on my subs list is really great. So have a look. And many thanks again. Many thanks again. I really touched your side. I really am. That is absolutely superb work. And I wish at some point I could have that kind of artistry in etch etching. Acid etching. So, thank you for now. Be good. Take care.